Right, so the guys at UK Custom Covers have kindly sent me some seat covers for my van. Um, now, I'm going to go fit these now and uh, see how arduous it is to do, whether it's easy, whether it's hard, and then uh, see how these bad boys um, work. Now, looking at the quality of them, they are absolutely bang on. The stitching is properly nice. Um, there's a little bit of extra padding in them, so nicer on your bottom when you're in your car. Um, now, there's a... There's the one for the double swivel, which is nice. Uh, a base for the double swivel, which is nice. Uh, the driver's side, uh, there's also headrest covers as well. Uh, and then if you've got a captain's chair with armrests, I haven't. Yeah, but if you have, then there's these covers as well. And these are also a little bit padded. So it just adds to that little bit of loveliness. Now I've got the Bentley stitching on the roof of my pop top, uh, which looks really nice. I wanted something to complement that. And I think these actually do complement or will complement the uh, the look. Now it also comes with some hooks, uh, these bad boys here. Uh, and then let me just see all you. Let's have a look. So underneath, when it goes around your seat, underneath there are some stretchy tabs like this. And then you hook them together with these quite substantial looking hooks, uh, like for fishings and stuff. Don't know. Uh, so let's go give this a go. Hopefully I won't swear a lot, um, and then we'll give them a test this weekend. Right, let's go see if I can get them fitted. Right, so let's start with this one first. Uh, this looks like it should be the easier one. So let's get a couple of hooks out ready. Pop them over there, and then uh, flip this seat up. I'll tell you what, let's do this side first. I've heard a lot of people swear a lot while fitting these because they are a very tight fit, which is a good thing, obviously. Yeah. Nobody wants a baggy seat cover sliding around, do they? So, let's get that lined up there and there. And then let's lift that up. Hook that over there. Now, there are specific... Um, seat covers for different styles of seating arrangements and stuff so make sure you let them know uh, or you make sure you order the correct one uh, this one's for a standard VW T6 uh, double chair and single driver seat uh, I know that some people have got like swivel chairs and things like that they might have to order something different right okay so let's see if I can get these tabs already looking nice uh, there's a couple of, I'll show you the tabs up close in a second. Let me just get this stretched out. These are little tabs here. These stretch and meet other tabs like this. And then they'll attach to these hooks just here. Don't know if one goes from one side to the other. Maybe, maybe because that's quite a... Yeah, that's a good pull, is that? So let's go from one side to the other here. If you guys are custom covers are watching and I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. <laughs> yeah, swearing. Swearing's gonna happen in a minute. Swearing is about to happen. Uh, I've got that one on. Uh, so you put it onto there first and then that bit hooks onto the other side. So let's do that now. So many swearings, no. At least I won't have to take my uh, bumper off for this one. Look at that, nice. So that's the first one on there with the hook stretching from either side so it's pulling it tight and nice uh, these ones will do exactly the same um, I think that one goes to the next one and then that one goes to the one that comes up from the bottom that might be a bit easier to do oh there's another one here as well right okay so I might stretch them across so once I've done it what I'll do is I'll show you how I've done it and then you can all tell me how wrong it is <laughs> this one on Happy days. 
tab. Done. Next one. I'll tell you what, this is a lot easier than uh, fitting headlights. <laughs> I reckon that one will go off. Is it there? No. <laughs> Looking good, looking good, Colin, if I might say so myself. There's another tab just under there as well. Make sure you attach all the tabs and at least you know you've got good contact there. Nice. And all the like all the pack increases and stuff should come out. There's not that many, but all the pack increases should come out as and when you use them obviously and sit on them and stuff like that. Let's get some more in and then let's start on the uh Let's start on the next one. Right, so I'm just swiveling the chair around. I think it's going to be easier to get to. And uh, it means I can get the headrests off a lot easier. Yeah, headrests come off so much easier when you've got this swiveled a little bit. So there's a little zip on the back, which means it's a bit easier to get on. Get that bit by there. Yeah, see how it's just a bit easier when you've swiveled the seat. Looking like a good fit. So with your seat belt, just tuck the whole cover underneath. You don't have to take your seat belt off or anything like that. Uh, and then these bits here should just sort of tuck in and under there uh, to get a nice kind of stock fit. So a bit of faffing, a bit of sorting, let's give this a go. Nice tight fit. It's good. I like that. That actually looks really nice. Love that. Nice and spicy eye. I'm probably just going to cut that tab down a bit. I think that's probably a bit long. Uh, but yeah, I'll cut that down once it's in. Let's get that on. Tuck those under there. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Right, time to do the other side, driver's side. Right then. Swearing may be involved in this one. Right, I think. What I'm going to have to do is take the seat off. Because that would be now impossible to do with the seat on. So let's get that off. Okay, so you join me underneath the seat. Now there are four bolts and I'll let you know how big they are in a minute. It's not that one. There we go. So it's a 13 mil bolt goes in there. And then there's four of them. There's another one on the other side and then two on the back. It's so much easier to take it out. I only brought it in the house because it's kind of raining a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's going to be so much easier doing that than it is faffing around in a tiny space in the car. So it's in the kitchen now. Here's the other side. Here are the tabs. Might even be worthwhile taking this off if we can't get the tabs through. I'll get to them. Come on, where's that other tab? All right, it's time for the hooks. So basically I'm just hooking all of the straps now together again with these same hooks 
Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about eight. The more there are, obviously, the more secure the seat's going to be in place. Um, a couple of things to note. Um, this one on this side, I went underneath this bracket, so it'll pull it. And the same over this side. And then over here, I went underneath. Uh, make sure that it all goes underneath there and not over this bit. Uh, you don't want it catching on anything. But all good so far. Um, once this is on, then we'll put the uh, rear cover, the cover for the where your back goes. <laughs> that one um, and then see how it looks nice Just like the uh, the other ones, there's a bit of protective on there, and then that's Velcro. There's a bit that comes through the seat that hooks up there and up there, and then Velcro's on, which that will stop it from sliding forward. Just get it tight, pull that on, push that on. Nice, nice. I think this is the first job I've ever done on the van where I've not cut myself. <laughs> this cover may or may not be on your seat, I don't know, but uh, it was definitely on mine, VW T6. And just pops on. It's looking snazzy. Really happy with that. So it's just a case now of just having a bit of a fiddle with it, just to make sure it's all straight and true and everything. Once that's all done, uh, we'll get the headrest cover on. Uh, you've seen me do that on the others, exactly the same on these ones. We'll get it fit back in the van, and then I'll show you what it looks like, because I reckon it's going to look pretty nice. Just going to reattach the uh, the uh, clip. That's basically to tell you that you ain't got your seatbelt on. That's in, and then that just attaches up there. Lovely, jubbly. Make sure none of the wires are crimped. We're all good there. Just a case of getting these bolts back in. Right, so before I do the big reveal, I thought I'd do a quick shout out to UK Custom Covers. They have been amazing throughout this whole process. Anna, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much for getting these out to me so quick. Um, I'll put a link into the description below to their website so you can go check out all the other products that they do too. I've got the front screen wrap, that's by UK Custom Covers. That's amazing, I've had that about two years now. I can't fault it. So for 125 pounds for these custom seat covers i think that's an absolute bargain because the quality is absolutely perfect i've been ragging them around you know to try and fit them and everything like that and sometimes when you're ragging stuff around you hear like stitching pull and you hear and you think oh no i better not pull that any harder i've been absolutely ragging these and i've not heard any stitching pull or anything like that the stitching quality for me on first sight is absolutely spot on um and i'm absolutely loving uh, the look of them as well and i'll show you in a second don't worry um as always with this channel, you know, it's super honest. I don't like to say something's good because I've been sent it for free or I've had it discounted or anything like that. I will let you guys know over time how these guys, how these bad boys uh, last. But the thing I like about them most is it's kind of like extra padding. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, so yeah, it's time now for the big reveal. Yeah. 